Thank you to Rex Platform for giving me the opportunity. I was just sitting here and I was thinking uh, why I am here. My photo never published in a newspaper. I uh, never got any award in a, from an international platform. And also, I'm not very well known. So, what value I can add standing here? So, then what struck me is I am about to celebrate my 40th birthday in a few days. And while I'm looking at all of you, I think you're half of my age. <laughs> so from that perspective, I have seen what you are yet to see. So from that angle, I think I would like to share a few of my learnings in my life so that that can add value in your life while you want to shape your life to become a leader. So starting with, we all know this, right? Grass is greener on the other side. And that's what we always use. Whenever I'm upset, seeing my friend, he's doing great, and then I think, okay, he's a lucky one. And always we try to give it to someone else. Always we look outside the window rather than inside. So I define it in a different manner. So grass is not greener in the other side, rather, Grass is greener where you pour water. So you need to invest on yourself. And then you'll be able to be that person what you want to become. So where I got my inspiration from? So we all know we're proud Bangladeshis, all of us here, I guess. So we, there was an idea, idea of independence, idea of individual, idea to become an independent nation. From that angle, it wasn't come easy. People have to struggle. And there are a lot of data the days people have to be inside the prison. Just shared a few minutes back. And then apparently, they got it. So they had to pour water on their ideas. They had to sacrifice a lot of time, energy. And then they have achieved that for our future. I'm very proud. My dad is a freedom fighter. And he sacrificed his time uh, in 1971. And he didn't know whether he will come back to his family or not. That was the sacrifice they made. Fast forward 50 years. So we all know we're very proud of our Padda Bridge. Is this just a brick and mortar bridge? To me, no. It's a statement to the world. Yes, we can. We can do it. This is the statement of indomitable spirit of Bangladesh. So we are coming. Here we come. So that kind of behavior gives us inspiration to all of us and definitely me. From that inspiration, what I believed and I have learned in my life, like you need to envision first. There has to be an idea. Based on that, belief has to be there. It's impossible but achievable. That's, that's how you need to think. And later on, for achieving that, you need to keep pouring water on your seeds. And that's difficult. So let me share my story. 40 years, half and a half. First 20 years, I was never in the driving seat. Give me an example. I didn't choose where I will study. My parents choose it for me. So then I, I, I studied in St. Joseph's School in Dhaka. And later on, I went to my parents. I told them, I want to do A-level, not college, because I want to study abroad. They told me, no, you're going to not even college. Study for that. <laughs> that happened. You can relate to it. And then while I passed my HS exam, I went to them and I told them I want to study law. They told them, no, you're studying in Bangladesh. Probably they couldn't afford it. And that's why I studied in IBA, Dhaka University, they did my BBA. Not that I'm complaining. What I'm saying, I was never in the driving seat of the first 20 years of my life. My life was decided by my, by my parents. But now, after 20 years, when I was about to pass my university, at that time, obviously, a uh, business grad or any uh, students from uh, bachelors, they're looking for either these days startups, but back in our days, we want to get a good job. 
that was our plan, right? So I was thinking, I was never a good student with a big, uh, good CGPA. I was an average student, always backbencher sort of person. So I was thinking, who will give me a job? Not a good uh, organization, may not see at my CV because I do not have a some bare minimum CGPA. Then I, what I thought, I need to be known by the people, not through my CGPA, by myself. Who am I? I'm not defined by my CGPA. So what I did, one fine morning in my university computer center, I sat and I was thinking, uh, this BBA started in the IBA 10, 12 years ago, but there's no platform to you know, organize all, all the BBA graduates together. Why don't I start something? And for the first time, I started a group called, that time it, it was Yahoo group, no, no Facebook, no LinkedIn sort of things. So I created a group called IBIs at uh, yahoo.com and I started bringing all the senior BBA guys together. And that's all, why what happened? Fast forward a few months, when, when there's a time for my you know, job enrollment and I didn't have to look for a job. I was in a position to choose where I will work. So that, that kind of thing, all I'm saying, it's about idea to achieve something. I wanted to be in a position, I had an idea, I worked on it. And then what happened? Then I have few jobs. Which one should I consider? So then what struck me, this has to be a platform where I will develop myself. So rather looking at the salary, looking at the title, looking at the company, I started looking at which company will help me to grow myself, to which company will invest on me. So what I did, I joined the company back in 17 years, I'm still hanging there, it's been, uh, to BAT Bangladesh. Yes, this is, I now I can say because I have a lot of friends around and I have seen it, one of the best organizations which invest on people. And that's why where I am right now, because of this organization have given me that platform. And over this time, what I have learned, number one, you need to be in a good organization with, where you can be nurtured. Later on, I think few of the speakers also talks about it. You need to have a coach, you need to have a mentor, you need to have a guide, because we are in our earlier stage. We need some, you know, lighthouse. So guide us rightly. And last but not least, at very early stage of your life, you need to look at the bigger picture, not two years. Where you want to become? It's a very cliche question I ask to people. What do you want to become in your life after five to 10 years time? It's a very cliche question, but you need to be able to answer that. That is very important. That will define your life. Moving ahead, this is the time I think which changed my life. I got an opportunity to work in our global headquarter in UK. I never been to UK. I wanted to be a lawyer, barrister. Never got the chance. So apparently, my co my company was uh, asking me to go and work there. At that moment, I thought I'm not a good speaker. I'm not very good at English, obviously. Number two, I never worked outside of Bangladesh apart from going here and there for conferences and all this. So whether I'll be able to do anything good, whether I'm killing my career here, whether I am, uh, I, I may be a character and people might think Bangladesh is not good at anything, something like that. That was in the back of my head. Seven days I was there and apparently what I figured out as a Bangladeshi individual, we read ourselves very wrongly. We are equally or in some cases better than them. We might not have a very good skin color. Native English is not our native language. Still, we are good at our work, what we do. So if, and then apparently that self-belief started and helped me to, you know, do better in my work. And apparently what has happened, I became more curious about how things have been done. And I started giving my opinion to the seniors, the veterans, the people who worked there for a long, long time. Then 
I started to enlarge my territories. I used to work in a regs affair. I started talking about how the other function should read, how the function to work. Uh, at, at that time, what it helped me, it helped me to change my mindset. I started looking things differently. This is my story. It's not a bragging, it's just sharing what I have done. How it's connected, let me tell you. Bangladesh has 160 million plus people, with the fact, so correct. In that case, I'm just a one individual. There's so many people around. And here, a lot of people are very well known these days. They are for good work. They are not bound by the boundaries. They are doing fantastic work. This is not an exhaustive list, to putting it as a contextual one. If you think like that, among this huge population we have, again, if the facts are correct, 33 to 35% people are between 20 to 40 years old, which is us in this room. We are the representative of that group. So if we start thinking and shaping our life for the next 20 years, just think about the vision of becoming a developed country, it will just come as a logical uh, you know, result. All we need to start thinking, how I am going to shape my life? And in together, we will be able to contribute in a much bigger way, so that as a country, we raise our flag much higher. So this is about us. We together have to deliver that. And you can be anything. You don't have to be a corporate individual like me. You don't have to be a barrister. You don't have to be a politician. You can be anything. We are playing in the world stage. And we have successful example around us. So pick whatever you want to be. Pick whatever you want to be, but invest on yourself. So finally, I personally developed a mantra, what I, it helped me. And whenever I get time, I talk to people and I try to give them the same thing. It's all about having an idea, what you want to become in your life, what you want to do for your project or something, uh, how you want to start kick off your startups or something. That idea matters. Invest time on the idea. Once you get that idea, anchor it and then Start pouring water. I, I had so many sleepless nights making my projects, presentation, practicing, uh, during, even in my corporate world, corporate life. So you need to invest on yourself. You need to invest on your idea. And the last but the not least, if you are a believer or if you are not a believer, if this 90% is correct, your time will come. Rest in is magic. You will find it. It will come to you. It may be difficult, keep doing that, but mag magic will happen. And this is how, this is how I became successful so far. I'm humble, I'm, uh, whatever I have become, but I think everyone has the ability to become like that. So, the way I started, so to me, grass is greener where you pour water. You need to keep pouring water there. And in that journey, Together, we can all make a better tomorrow for us, for the country, and for the world. Thank you very much.